not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's died down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Dell, when do you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? I'm pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done showing the corporate compliments, we should decide whether we're headed straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. I'm saying it into my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. So there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? Vasgari technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. OK, big fella. Let's get you aboard. Nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. I mean, they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The tr transitive, transitive what? Books, Foz. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. No, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. <laughs> Or three. Something, but the swarms seem different, smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Haddock warned us about that. He said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Kadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Hadfield's just ahead. Mark the skip as close as you can. That thing is kinda heavy. And so we meet again. <laughs> I'll take navigation.
get that thing to Baird. Lead the way. Paddock, where's Baird? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring, so I came out here. You should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Baird's going back to New Affair with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash at basic training? Oh, I had a slight mishap. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. <clears throat> uh, hey, Barry. Can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Afira. Yeah, right. Of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird! Cancel cross and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get out there and use it! Delta, come on!
coming to us. You're dead. Up ahead. Shit. That's yeah, a convoy, all right. All right. Let's get in there and see what we can do. Look! They're still fighting. We gotta help them. Jack Shield. <laughs> Paddock, mate, you hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. Delta, I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock's nomads? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for that. Sure. 
But if we don't get our rocket launch soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you alone. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read him. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. I'm beginning to understand why you never lost this rocket. Everyone's favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. This better work. Paddock, rockets assembling. Look out! <laughs> There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place! Thank you. 
shit! Snatch his back! Coming your way! Shot shot! Wounded!